form submission we have seen. Okay. So what I'll do now, I'll say gender, male, form radio button, path equal to gender. Right, then I'll say female, Okay, path equal to gender. I'll put break. Break. Next, I'll put here break, break. Yeah, I think. Right, so let me now restart the server. Now I'll just now say local host eighty eighty spring MVC demo one show registration form. Now you see I got gender male female right so. <coughs> Right. So what I'll do is now the city drop down is not there. Some value should be there, right? So what I'll do is now I should populate some some cities. Okay. So in what areas? The student is instead interested to register. Right? In what areas? The student is interested to register here. So for that, what I will do in my controller class, or in this handler class, what I'll do is I'll add one common method. I'll tell you what is this. So public void some common data. And here I'll create a model. Okay, and this I'll annotate with upgrade model attribute. I'll tell you what is this. See, I'm seeing here, if you see here, this model attribute annotation is annotated with the method, and this is annotated with the method argument. I mean, inside the method argument, in the field level, we are using this model attribute. Even at the method level also, we are doing this. See, when we annotate this model attribute, so just see, the method annotated with model attribute will be invoked by controller or will it be invoked first before invoking any of the request mapping methods. Okay. The method annotated with the rate model attribute will be invoked first before invoking any of these request mapping methods. That means, that means, for example, now in my controller class, in my controller class, okay, now say, I have request mapping. 
I have order say for example or some students right I have a method here so method one right so I have another request mapping with some branches something like this okay I'm just giving an example so method two and suppose I have one one more method annotated with other rate model attribute and I have method three right now from your browser a request will come from your browser a request will come from your browser a request will come for students right a request will come for students now it will go to your dispatcher server right it will go to your dispatcher server right now this dispatcher server what it will do it will take this slash students and uh, map with this but before invoking this method before invoking this method your dispatcher will check is there any method annotated with other rate model attribute it will check so in this controller class so before invoking any of the request mapping methods okay so for this url pattern this is the matching and this method gets executed but before executing this method so so before executing any of the request mapping method okay dispatcher servlet will check will check for any method annotated the other rate model attribute so so first it will invoke that method so if there is any method that exists if there is any method that exists annotated with other rate model attribute right so first that method gets executed so that means first this method gets executed so after this method so after this method gets executed then it will go to the request mapping methods. suppose in case if this method is not available i mean the method which is annotated with other rate model attribute is not available then directly this url pattern is mapping to this so directly this method gets executed so if this method is present then first this gets executed and then it will call this you this madman method so first that met method gets executed and then calls the matching request mapping method with url pattern okay now suppose okay now for example when i call slash students so first this gets called after completing this then it will call this right suppose if i if from my browser now again you have a controller class your class app controller now i have a request mapping okay same thing i'll have students okay students right then i'll say method 1 next i'll say request mapping branches
So I'll say method two. Then I'll say model attribute method three. Okay. So suppose from a browser, I invoke slash branches, right? So first it will check for is there any method annotated with other model output? Yes. So first this will be called. Next, this branches is mapped to this. So second, this will be called. So in that way, any method that is annotated with other right model output, first that will be called. So similar here also, what I'll do is I'll have other right model attribute. Now, here what I'll do is here I'll just say uh, here I'll say just list of string. I'll say cities. I'll say arrays as, uh, as list of. I'll say Hyderabad, Bangalore, right? I'll say Delhi, right? And then what I'll do, you know, I'll just add attribute here. I'm just hard coding the cities of the trainings, okay? Model dot add attribute of. I'll just say cities and cities. And you know, so first when I invoke this uh, show registration form, first it will call this method, add the cities attribute and then call this method. Now in student registration form, what I'll do now? In student registration form, what I'll do now? What I'll do? I'll add the Cities here. So in student registration form, I'll add the cities. So form form select multiple equal to true, path equal to cities. Okay, and then what I'll do, you know? Here I'll say form options. Options items equal to I'll say dollar. Okay, I'll say dollar ash cities precincts form options equal to like this. That's all. Now this key, this key I'm referring here. From the controller class, it is coming. From your handler class, it is coming. Whatever this key is there, right? This key, because anything that is at, 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 uh, adding as a key in the model attribute, this key I'll refer where here I'll refer. So that the value, what is the value for this key? The value for this key is in this city's list, which is an array list. So this list will be displayed in the drop down. So if you want, I'll show you. So what I'll do, I'll just click on localhost spring MVC demo one, show student registration form. Oh, sorry, this one, right? Sorry. This you. So what it is giving?
I think. I need to handle this, this expression language. Otherwise, it will be treated as, it should evaluate this expression language. Right? So for that, what I have to do? I have to give like this page easy like not equal to false. So let me restart it. Now you see, I got the cities listings. So whatever I added here, so these cities are coming in this. So how it is coming? So so first any request comes, first it will invoke this method, add this data in the model, then it will go to this method. Okay, then this model, what it will do, this will redirect to this form. Now, whatever the key that I add in the model, this key, this key should be referred here. Should be referred here so that it will evaluate. This is an expression language. So this will evaluate, this will, this will read that uh, value from the model for this key. So this key should match with this key so that what is the value? This is the value. What is this value? This value is a list of string cities. So this, this uh, will be displayed here. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll enter some name. So let me, what I'll do is here, uh, I'll print some names here. So Automatically, automatically this uh, options items is a right. This is a spring form tag. This will internally iterate the list. This has that capability. This form, this is a spring form tag. So it will automatically iterate the list and display. Now let me restart this. Here we have to only pass the list, that's all. Just to pass the list where that's all. The key, I mean, if you're if you're passing like this means what is the value corresponding to this key? That is a list. So just pass the list. So just restart it. Right. So or uh, what I'll do is here, I'll just print out this system.out.println. You'll get an error. Earlier you got that error, right? Suppose if a non-collection element is passed, earlier I got an error. Suppose if I pass a normal string or something, this will not get rendered. You will get an error. You should always be collection object, a list object. Right? So here what I'm doing now, I'll print now last name or one thing I'll do. I can also do like this also, right? So what I'll do is I can also Let me do here student confirmation form. Okay. Student confirmation form. Okay, I'll not, uh, let me now remove from all this. I'll just the, the right, write one JSP here. Okay. So student confirmation form, there should be one JSP. So new file. Student confirmation form dot So just uh, 
copy these two. So here I'll say HTML, right? And here I'll say some body. The student details confirmed. So I'll say dollar hash student dot first name. Next dollar student dot last name. Next I'll take a break. Next I'll take age student dot from where the student has come from this model, right? For example, if you go to your student handler, this model, this is the model student, we have to refer with this. So this dot, whatever the property name. So age student dot age. I'm just displaying what details I got from form, right? What are the next I have given? First name, last name, age, postal code. Next is break. Next is postal code. Student. Dot postal code. Next I'll give you a break. Course code qualification. Course code. Student dot. Course code. Next is uh, qualification. Right, student dot qualification. Next, what? Cities, right? So, what I'll do for cities? Remember, we can use for loop, right? We can use for loop just like how I used for here. For loop, you remember? We can iterate over the cities. What cities I selected? So, let me now go here and I just use this core tag, okay? And uh, I'll say like this. So qualification. Okay. Next city, I'll say. Next city. I'll say C for each items equal to. I'll say dollar hash student dot cities right next i'll say var equal to city and displaying what cities see these values will come whatever the whatever the student has entered in the form okay and then i'll say here dollar hash city next is break Next is C for each. Right? Hmm. Next, what I'll do? What is the next one? C qualification also given gender, right? Qualification also. Next is gender. When I say gender. I'll say dollar, this I'll put break. You know what is break? Break means new line character. In new line it will come. This is your normal HTML. So gender, what I'll say? Student dot gender. Right. And uh, that's all.
correctly. Now, let me restart this. Restart. Now, what I'll do now? I'll just refresh this. Yeah. Now, I'll just give some name. Okay. So, last name. So, postal code. Course code, Java. Right. I'm registering for Java course. Now I'll select the list of training centers where I can opt. Either I can attend from Hyderabad or Bangalore or Delhi or three cities if I'm possible. I can attend. I can attend some days from Hyderabad. I can attend some days from Bangalore. Okay. Depending on my requirement. So I'll just select only Hyderabad and uh, Delhi. Okay. I can opt only. Bangalore will not be, I cannot attend. Because I'm traveling to Delhi, I can attend from these two. So I'll select mail. I selected these two only. Okay. Now click on submit. Now you see the student details confirmed are this one. Whatever I entered in the form, it is coming. 45, postal code, course code. And I selected only city, Hyderabad, and Delhi. I selected city only Hyderabad and Delhi. Bangalore hasn't come because I did not select that. Only these two has come. See? But gender hasn't come. Right? Why gender hasn't come? We'll see. Again, I'll show you another one. Now I'll say Ramesh Kumar. 35 postal code. I select now spring. I select qualification B Tech. Right. I'll select now Bangalore and uh, Delhi. These two. Now I'll select the mail. See Ramesh Kumar. I think. Uh, this one, but city Bangalore and Hyderabad hasn't come because I did not select Hyderabad. So only Bangalore, but gender by it is not coming. Okay. Okay. I think for gender, here I have to give value also. Value equal to male, value equal to female. Okay. Now let me start again. I'll say no. Krishna Kumar, age 25, postal code something, course code, spring, qualification MCA. Now I'll select Hyderabad and Bangalore. Now I'll select mail. Now you see, now gender is coming as mail. Right. And what are the cities I selected? Hyderabad and Bangalore is coming. See where it is going after entering the form, it is going to this URL, right? See if you see here, this registration form is sending where? This is sending to this URL, form action, process form. So where this process form is there? So this is your process form. From here, where it is going? To this JSP. So there should be a JSP with this name, student confirmation form dot JSP. So in this, I am printing all. So that is what it is coming here. So 
So let me now take, I think we'll see whether gender is coming now correctly for female also. Let me see. So let me say like, uh, uh, something like uh, first name Devi Priya. Okay, something like 25. I'll say Java. I'll select now Delhi and uh, I'll select only Hyderabad. Now I'll select female. Now I'll submit now. Yeah. Gender is coming correctly. And I selected only Hyderabad, only Hyderabad. Here and clear. Here and clear with this flow. See, I'll share you one real-time project also after completing all this. Like how we'll connect to database. From database, how we'll get the data. Everything I'm going to show you. That is a real-time project. You can add that in your resume. Okay, after completing this. See, uh, what I'll do is, I'll today actually I have some uh, backup, uh, some backup issue is there. Some network uh, power failure is there. So I'm running in laptop uh, with the... Uh, so, might uh, go off actually because currently, though laptop battery is uh, somewhat good, but network might go, this Wi Fi connection might go down. Just one minute, it is running in just a power. So, what I'll do is uh, next session tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, two things we will do. I'll explain you the real time project. Tomorrow, I'll explain you. Already, the code is already there. I'm going to explain you the real time project. Like, I'm going to explain you one real time project. And I'll share. Share you the real time project in Spring MVC. Right? I will also share you uh, some. So, before going to real time project, what I do is tomorrow, what I do is first I'll start on Spring MVC with Hibernate. See, whatever we have done, we studied separately Hibernate, separately. We studied separately Spring MVC. Now, tomorrow we are going to see one program combining this code. And then I'll start real time project, these two. So that we can complete this tomorrow. Yeah, React JS, uh, that is a different, it is not in this topic, in this course. So what I'm going to do, day after tomorrow, I'm going to talk you with you with Spring REST, RESTful APIs, REST APIs. So once you know REST APIs, then you can start integrating with ReactJS. I'm not going to tell ReactJS, but REST APIs can be connected to through ReactJS or Angular. Right? So what I'll do is I will just... Uh, so tomorrow we are going to see this. Day after tomorrow, I'm going to explain REST APIs. What are REST APIs and all that. And I'm going to share you some interview questions also in MVC. Right? Okay, then tomorrow we'll meet actually. Today I'm running in some, I think my Wi-Fi con connection might disconnect in some time because of this power backup actually. Okay, so some network issue is going on. So tomorrow I'll connect, I'll start on this. Right, okay. Okay, then thank you all. Any questions till now? Everyone clear with today's example? Everyone clear?
Okay, thank you all.